Hi guys, Chris here from Thoman. Today we're gonna take a look at five great reverb pedals under 200 euros. Uh, if you wanna hear them right away, you can click the links in the description so you can skip the talking. Otherwise, our setup, we have this beautiful Yamaha Pacifica 612 with this beautiful translucent blue color. It has a alder body with a maple top, beautiful Samuel Duncan pickups, the SSL one, uh, single coils, and the custom five humbucker, which you can split if you want to, five by switch, beautiful guitar, you know, does the job, perfect HSS guitar. Uh, Pinnacle Deluxe, actually it's the version two from Wampler, and we have a beautiful stereo setup, we have the Hot Rod Deluxe from Fender, um, and uh, the Echolet Mark One. Here we go. First today is the more Shimverb, it's actually way under 100 euros, and uh, you have three sounds. You can use it as your spring reverb, uh, or you have the option to use it as a room reverb, or you have a special goodie, the uh, shimmer. First with a clean sound, that's the spring sound. Now let's try the room sound, which is uh, more of the modern sound. It's more clear, it's more three-dimensional. And uh, this is what you will probably want to use if you play more modern uh, styles and uh, use, for example, your reverb for your solo sounds. So, first clean. What makes a big difference between a spring reverb, a plate reverb, um, more modern sort of digital uh, remake of a, of a real room, a cathedral, a hall, a cave, or whatever, what sort of room you're in. If you have a spring reverb, your signal goes in, then there are a couple of strings, metal strings, which will set in motion with, uh, through your, your signal, which goes in. So that's like, a spring which moves like you know like waves it's actually a totally one-dimensional you know moving of, of some metal parts and metal springs and um, that's a very nice and unique vintage style of reverb the second one the plate is a little uh, different but it has the same basic approach um, the signal will be sent to a sort of a, a thin metal plate which will start a move that has like two directions already it's not just like a, a straight motion it's, it has two directions and then it you know we come to the modern digital modeling of all the real room sounds you know it doesn't matter which big it is it could be just a small tiny room 
sound, which uh, actually you heard now. The third sound, which is also very interesting, that's the shimmer sound. And um, there we arrive to the most modern specialties, which uh, reverb pedals offer us. That's not at all realistic, again, it has lots of harmonics and um, gets more in the interesting, spacey direction. <laughs> Right, next one, electroharmonics, holy grail. As almost every single electroharmonics pedals, they are always just a little different. This is a reverb which is very well known for its spring setting because it does that really well. But it's not really totally 100% like a copy of a real spring reverb. It has its own thing and it sounds phenomenal, but it's, it's sort of a, uh, something special. I mean, um, if you hear it, you will know right away what I'm talking about. With stops like that, you really hear the, the reverb detailed. It has this fizzle on the top, like a real spring reverb would, would um, do it but it's way softer and, and somehow nicer and it, it's just a really great sound and that's why a Holy Grail has been there forever and I think it will never disappear because it does that absolutely beautifully. <laughs> Hole. Second setting. It's way longer and it's a little more spacey sounding, but um, I think they're not that far from each other. If I have to compare. It's just more hearable and stronger and a little more wet on the same um, reverb setting, wet setting. Last one is the flurb, which is a flanger and a reverb mixed together. It gives an effect on your wet sound. So your guitar's tri single will stay tri as you like it, and the flanger will affect your reverb. <laughs> So it's an interesting one, definitely. You will have to set your reverb mix a little higher to hear this wobble wobble flangery uh, thing because of your dry signal, which stays dry. You, you hear the reverb, but this swimming around uh, needs a little kick in the back. And that's actually a really nice thing to, um, to make your solo sound more interesting or your lead sound, whatever, if it's, uh, you know, a rhythm stuff or a solo stuff, but that's an absolutely nice flavor to it. Mm -hmm. 
one of those sounds. Next one, Bass Reverb RV6. It does a lot and it's uh, also the most expensive one here. It has the spring sound which I will start with but it has a lot more of course. We will choose one or two different uh, other sounds that you, that you hear, the range, what it does. But the basic sound what we concentrate on is the traditional, the reverb um, sound what we all know and love, the spring reverb. <coughs> That's the first pedal that's stereo actually and we have both amps so uh, it's a nice thing to sit here right now. It's not that seriously super stereo like if you had a ping pong delay which goes left and right, left and right like hell. But it's, it's nice because you have a lot more of this three dimensional effect which a reverb should to anyhow and like this you have a nice and surrounding atmospheric sound. That's the first where you have lots of sounds, lots of setting options, stereo in and out which also does a cool thing. Uh, if you go into input B and go out stereo you only have your wet signal. So if you run like a wet dry wet setup you can use the reverb um, only for your two wet amps and your dry signal will not at all go through the pedal. So you save a patch cable or just one, you know, unit on your looper or whatever one. That's a nice thing. And of course you have your expression pedal with which you can uh, change the reverb depth. Yeah, let's check a second sound. Modulate a uh, hole. Let's do a hole. <laughs> It's a lot more realistic and three-dimensional and all of those words. And let's check out a third one, a nice and interesting one. You have, of course, dynamic, shimmer, whatever, plus delay. But I think the most usable would be a modulated reverb. And that is exactly the sound why I would want to buy a Boss Reverb pedal. That's really, really beautifully natural sounding and makes your sound a lot more warmer without taking something away of your presence or, or anything from the top end. Nice. Polara Digitec. Also many options. This is the Spring Reverb. We start with that just as uh, we did with all the other ones. And we'll see how it sounds. <laughs> That's not the spring reverb. <laughs> Fuck, it's the halo. <laughs> I was like, wow. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. 
It works, absolutely. Um, second sound will be a whole reverb. It's a really nice stereo sound. It's subtle, but you absolutely feel the room where you are sitting in. If you run a stereo setup with some gain. Somebody stop me! <laughs> oh, nice! Cool. The next one is my favorite about the Polar. This is their own sound, it's called Halo. Halo, right? Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, clean as well. Super smooth and really wide sound. One last thing, you have a switch right in the middle. It's called Tails and what it does actually, you will have your decay even though you turn your pedal off already. I have now the Tails off. I play something and I turn it off, you will hear the cut. If I turn the Tails on, it's long turned off and it still decays nice and naturally. If you're into atmospheric stuff or you just want to make a, a quick change but you don't want it to be so radical because whatever, it's a break in the song or whatever what, that's beautiful. That's such an attention to detail which I absolutely adore. Now the next one. The last one actually, TC Electronic Hall of Fame. Like all pedals from TC Electronic in this range, you have the option of using tone prints, you can use your app for that. You also have of course the option not to use that at all if, you're, if you cannot be bothered with downloading and whatever what beaming around. 
you have on this size, this version, this is not the mini, you have four knobs with which you can set all your important parameters. You have all the different sort of beautiful reverb types, it's stereo. You have trim pots inside with which you can choose whether you wanna use true bypass or buffer bypass. And you can also kill your dry signal. If you use it the same way what I mentioned uh, with the boss pedal, you use it for two wet amps and the dry signal will not go through at all. So the sounds, that what, that's what matters. First is the spring. <laughs> Let's set a whole sound. And as last one, we take a look at the modulation sound, which is always a beautiful thing if you buy a reverb pedal, if they have one, because that makes it a lot more versatile. So let's compare these five pedals in the spring reverb setting. And as an extra, as a sixth one, we will show the hot rod with the real spring reverb that you put these pedals in context. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you wish to comment and share your opinions, we are absolutely happy to read them and comment and react and everything. If you want to subscribe, you can do it somewhere here between my hands. You just click on the Toman logo and you'll be right away there and you will not miss any episode coming up. Bye guys, take care.